this is for a deal by the Grateful Dead. I was kind of just free-forming it, but um, you know, some of the ideas in there is kind of what uh, what Keith does. So we've got um, an A for the intro, and it's the same kind of idea as uh, U.S. Blues, where we're in the bass. It's A E, and we're going back and forth from the E and the F sharp. And then when we're on the E, we're playing the C sharp and A. When we hit that F sharp, we're playing D, keeping that A. So we got A's on the outside. What we're really concerning ourselves with is the middle note. See that? It's going back and forth from A and D, just like US Blues if you watch that one. And the same kind of idea, we're going from that A, C, quick C, into the uh, C sharp. kind of keeping that swing and you can add whatever riff and just do the classic you know working with the major pentatonic and minor pentatonic now it goes into the song so we're going to start with the A chord so we've got A bouncing back from A and E for the bass kind of like an, an Americana blues song, I would say. And for the A chord, I'm just playing the full standard A chord, that's A, C sharp, E, A, and kind of bouncing back and forth, breaking up the chord a little bit. Going along with the rhythm of the word. Okay, now that A is going to go to a C sharp dominant 7. So, what we can do walk up from B to C to our C sharp. And now we're going to, so the fingering for that would be your pinky on B, your uh, ring finger on C, and then your middle finger on the C sharp, but quickly kind of change to your pinky for that second beat. So you're kind of going up like that, and then actually I think what I do you know, in the moment is uh, hit that octave first with my thumb, the C sharp octave, and then I'm with my pinky on the lower part. You know. So let's see how that feels. Uh, so let's look at the chord here. We're going from A. I want to keep the chord close. You know, the inversion. I want to keep it close. So it's right here. All we're doing is moving just a little bit. So we've got A to B, keeping that C sharp. Then we're moving from E to F. And now we're moving this A down to A flat to get our sound. And I think in the uh, demo I was kind of going like that. So we're going just our thumb down to the B flat, back up to the B. That's while we're hitting these uh, C sharp octaves. Okay, now, next chord is F sharp minor. That's F sharp octaves in the bass, A, C sharp, F sharp. But, what you can do is take that B, just the B alone too, you don't want to be playing the rest of these with this, so. If we got A in this next chord, I can just go into it to give it a little bit of flavor. Like that. To go along with the style of this song. I was doing those kind of chromatic lines down. So, we've got like that. Now, our next chord is going to be A7 with E in the bass, so if you notice, we're, we're on the F sharp, just kind of bouncing octaves, and we're going to go down to the E here, so I can do the same thing, because we've got a G in the A7 chord, right? So I can do the same idea, this time I'm going to cross over my thumb, pointer on the A flat, back to thumb on the G, and then I'm going to 
reach up here and play the rest of the A chord. That's C sharp E. So, like that kind of idea. I think I played it a little bit faster. Like that. Now, the next chord from that A7 is D, D major. So I can go up here. I can take that G with my thumb and hit A, G. Then I get into the uh, D chord. So I've got D octaves here, C sharp, and D. And I kind of play it like this. Let's see. Like that. So I'm going, C, I'm playing the uh, F sharp first, stacking that, or actually just playing the, C, the F sharp and then D. And as soon as I go back to that F sharp, I start my chromatic walk up to A. And then the, the bass moves just up a, a half step. To E flat. Because that's our next chord. It's this diminished. So we've got E flat, A, C, E flat, G flat. So you you kind of get the idea. I'm I'm looking at what notes are in the chord and I'm seeing which one I can kind of do a little chromatic run up to to add that flavor. So here's it from the beginning, really slow. We're right here. Remember, I'm going F sharp first, then D, back to F sharp. Now I start. As soon as I hit that A, I'm hitting the E flat in the bass octaves. But directly after that, I'm stacking the C, E flat, and G flat. So, and I'm going kind of bow, back and forth. From there, we go A. And it's basically just like the intro there for, you know, one bar. And we're going to do a chromatic walk down to F sharp major from our A. So here's the A. Doing that classic blues back and forth from A and D. Now I'm starting octaves. With the bass, it's A, A flat, G, uh, G flat or F sharp. In this hand, I'm playing the third, so that's C sharp, C, B, B flat. Uh, except for, you know, instead of hitting that B flat kind of straight like that, I'm going. So I'm doing this little line in here A to uh, B flat, stacking that F sharp, and then hitting the E. But I'm going to continue this on the next part.